Hello my planner friends! It has been a while since I posted a flip or really a video here on YouTube. Um, the holidays were crazy in my house. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, we did a lot of traveling and we got COVID again so it's been pretty crazy but it's a new year. Um, my husband and I and our family are about to get back into a regular routine. So I'm hoping having a routine will allow me to do more regular posting, but I'll get into that um, towards the end of the video. I wanted to share an updated flip of my uh, personal size rings. So this is a Giglio Medium Campania in the Black Matte Croco. I have been in personal rings now since last June. So just about seven months um, and I really, really love it. I was just talking to a friend on Instagram about how we used to be like big traveler's notebook people and I used to loathe rings. I used to loathe them. I used to hate them. I used to like hate writing in them. But at some point I got tired of the traveler's notebooks because I could not get organized in my planner the way I wanted. Inserts are typically already um, bound and ready to go and it was just really hard for me to figure out exactly the configuration I wanted. Rings allow, rings allow you to be super customizable. That's why I love them so much um, and I've really really enjoyed being in rings and I don't foresee myself getting out of rings. I may change the size eventually, who knows? I have a lot of new things happening this year, but I have been in personal size rings since June of last year. And um, I have really, really gotten to a groove with my planner and I wanted to show you what I got going on. So I do change the covers pretty often. Um, I've been in a yellow. I've been in the Bogmat Croco. I've been in the Anthracite Ostrich. Now I'm back in the Black Matte Croco. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, no, it does matter to me. I really love Gilio. I really love their rings. And whenever I feel like changing out the cover, I will. Um, so yeah, it's just whatever mood I'm in at the moment. And I'm in the mood currently for the Black Matte Croco. So it is very, very, very stuffed. As you can see, it will not close. I have 30 millimeter silver rings in here. I tried doing 25 millimeter, but I just could not do it. Um, I had to move back into the 30. So I don't have much going on in here. I have like my vaccination card and some coupons in here, some cuteness up in the front, Ollie clip, and then, um, some checks that I'm holding on to that I deposited, but I hold on to until I know that they've completely cleared on my account. All right, let's make sure I'm in frame here. All right, so a lot of the things remain the same. Um, I change things out depending on the season. So I had, I think the last up setup I had was fall. Yeah, my fall setup. So now I took out all the fall stuff. I don't really have any winter stuff, just some random bits and bobs of cuteness. Bunny plans. This is from my sister. It's a die cut. Um, it's one of those faceless pictures that she created and she made of my boys. She made this of my dog Murphy. Um, Annie, uh, gosh, Van Sticky. Van Sticky. Um, bunny plans from my sister. This is still the same. And I used to have, um, these plain white dividers and the tabs were at the bottom but the tabs got super beat up so I trimmed them off um, and I know pretty much how where everything is I have like a few of these like little post-it tabs but I don't really have dividers with tabs on them for right now at least um, so I use these more kind of like decorative and to hold post-it notes these are from Paper Minty Studio. I love her aesthetic. I have a ton of her post-its and I also have her washi tape, obsessed. This is from SM Plans and this is kind of like my inbox. It's the first section um, in my planner is lists and notes and things, miscellaneous stuff. So this is my inbox. 
Um, this is the insert that you guys have probably seen from SM Plans. Um, I write down the category, I write down what I need to get done, if it has a deadline, and then check it off as I go. Several of those inserts. I have these notes pages from SM Plans. I'm doing a 2022 glow up. Um, so like, Basically, I'm starting a new job this upcoming Monday, and there was a few things that I wanted to get done before I start. Because, guys, it's going to be hybrid. I'm going to be, like, in person, going to work. It's like, after not having worked for, in this type of a setting, for over four years, um, I'm like, really excited about it. So, I'll talk more about that later. Um, I was working on my planner setup. Oh, another thing. My family and I are moving into our brand new house earlier than we expected. We were supposed to move in in April, but now we are moving in at the end of the month. So I just have a shopping list of things I need to get done and buy for the house, like toilet paper, paper towels, um, palm olive dish soap, tie, these types of things that we like don't have any, any of. So a few notes pages there. Online orders from SM Plans. This is the SM Plan sorted list. I believe this is a freebie in her Facebook group, but what I use this for is things that I am selling. So I'll write down the item. If I posted it on whatever site I use, like Facebook Marketplace or Instagram, if I sold it and then if I shipped it. Several of those. I have this wish list from Simple and Trendy Co. I really like it, it's simple. I just really wanted to make sure that it said wish list at the top item. Sometimes I write down the price and I'll check it off. So we've got several of those. This is a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm planning on putting like my handbag collection on here. Just, um, I've been selling some and keeping some and all that type of stuff. So I want to just have a list of the handbags that I own. And then my favorite trip insert trip planning inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. I used these heavily last year because I was traveling so much. This year I won't be traveling um, as frequently, but I would I, I would use this even for like a night trip. Like tomorrow uh, we're going to a wedding and it's just a day trip and I'll use this um, for the day trip. So I have a couple of those. On this um, old divider I have a picture of my son and then oh, this cute die cut. My sister made this too and made into a die cut for me. I'm obsessed. And this sticky adhesive pocket is from Kelly Ava Designs. So the next section is my calendar section. Um, we have this vellum from my sister. That's the same exact image as this one up here that she printed on vellum. Yearly overview from SM Plans. And on the back, it has all of the holidays. You're probably wondering why I keep doing this on this side. It's just that the pages don't get caught here in the middle because like I said, I have a ton of inserts in here. So it's a little tight. And then I have the monthly from SM Plans. I used this exact monthly for 2021. I love it. Um, this, I think this is called the pretty version on SM Plans. I'll have everything linked down below. But I do put a few stickers, um, just enough, not too much though. And what I do um, for pre-planning is I don't write anything down until like literally the month is about to start. I just put things down in post-its um, that I need to keep in mind for future months. So the rest of the year in here, Bunny Plans Vellum note for my husband. Uh, this final dashboard was from Foxy Fix. I've just always had it. Um, I know that there are other people that sell it now. Um, so they're pretty, not easy to find, but they're available. So my nephew, lots of cuteness, $2 bills, sticker from when we went to New Orleans. And oh my God, you guys, this is like really, really special. So um, I was obsessed with Tarot Planner Babe. I'm sure you're familiar with her. Um, her name is Kristen. I think she pronounces her name Vala, Valadaris. But she had these beautiful dividers from Calixta Creations. And I was obsessed with them and I wanted to order them. But at the time, Calixta's shop was um, just all digitals. I, I'm thinking she was opening up to be able to send like new dividers, but 
anyway, at the time she hadn't, um, had any of these in the store. So I reached out to Kristen to ask if she knew when they'd be restocking and blah, 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 blah. And then Kristen was so kind. She sent me hers. Um, she said she was ready to move on to something new and sent me this set of three. And I'm just so grateful for this community and just people being so kind and sharing and giving. So thank you so much, Kristen. And then this is the full year of weeklies from the Hobodichi Weeks. I used every single page of my weeks last year and I knew I had to use it again this year. So this was last week. And what I do is I write down like major appointments or things that I want to get done on a particular day. Um, sometimes I'll write a quote, like some things that I want to focus on for the week and things that I need to keep in mind that are due for a specific day, if that makes sense. So this is this week. Um, appointments and all that good stuff so I've got the rest of the year I love it because it's just thin and I like having the entire year in here because I really love flipping through my pages when they're used if you're a planner girl or boy you know how that feels so I like having the full year in here and because it's Tomoe River paper it does not take much space at all um, this is another one of those vinyl um, dashboards um, Queen City, Decide Go, Bunny Plans, and then this is, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. Her name's Brittany, um, but I got that from her shop. Engagement photo of my husband and I, picture, another one of the die cuts from my sister, and then some post-its, and I moved to the two, um, day, no, two page per day, um, dailies from SM Plans. Did they say that correctly? I don't even know. Anyway, she hasn't brought them to her shop yet. She said you can reach out to her um, via email, I believe, um, in order to get these from her. I know she has an undated version and then she had for the personal size, the dated ones. And so I got the full year. I'm so obsessed with this. As I said, um, I'm going to be starting a new job and I needed a lot more space in my daily. So these are like priority things, things I need to get done today, things to keep in mind, maybe some notes like I had taken Tylenol that day, um, an actual schedule for the day. And then down here I could put down notes or a quote or something. These are just awesome and I've really just enjoyed them. I feel so organized with these dailies. They're just great. Uh, my son has been home sick this week so and with fever so I've been not planning as much just because it's been of course I'm a mama so I was like worried and a little stressed by him being sick so like on this day I just was writing down stuff not getting anything done but he's so much better today I am so happy like here, look, he, these were his fevers, the Tylenol and Advil I was taking him, it was crazy. And then here we are on today. This is a beautiful dashboard with pressed flowers. Let me remove this. Um, this is from Planet Char. I absolutely love this, it's pretty. Um, I've noticed that when I use a today marker that like completely blocks off the next page, I don't enjoy it as much. So because this is see-through, I'm able to see kind of what's on the back side, and I like that. Um, this was given to me in a planner that I purchased. I think it's from Southern Bell Plans. I could be completely wrong though. And I've been doing, um, like daily tarot pulls. So these were what I pulled from um, my deck today. And I like just having that there. And then I have the rest of the month in here. Photo of my mom, me and my sister. Um, this was from my bridal shower. More Bunny Plans vellum. Another one of those Calixta dashboards or dividers. This jelly paper is absolutely cute i got this from paradise planner co i just really it's like it's fun to play with and the next section is my goal section which is why i have this photo of myself this was me on my honeymoon this is like my ideal 
weight and goal um weight goal goal weight goal weight um so I have that here just to remind me what I'm like reaching for um I've had this for a while this is a get things done kind of map um from perfectionism prints and this was also created by my sister this is my 10 year anniversary since I competed at Miss America today so that's really cool um, I like having this in my goal section because it reminds me of what if I, what I can accomplish if I just stay focused and disciplined and all those things. So I got this from Crossbro Printables. This is her five-year vision. Um, I believe this is a freebie on her website, but um, it's kind of like creating a vision or goals for your for five years. So like values, personal mission statement on the back side. This is private, so I didn't want to show you. Oh, my big audacious goal, um, the things that I want to, action steps basically at the bottom, things to work on to reach my goal. I need to fill out this plan of action and other life goals in family, health, spiritual, finances, career, education, fun and adventure. This is a mind mapping insert from Peanuts Planner Co, I believe. And um, basically what I did was as I'm entering this new phase of my life as a working mom, I put like mom boss in the center and all of the things that um, make me a mom boss, so to speak. So like career, self care, I can't forget to take care of myself, the homemaker side of me taking care of my home and our space, um, my health and fitness, being a wife, um, being present with my family, um, and being a present mom. So that is kind of like I was mapping out basically what is the ideal, my ideal image as mom boss. So um, I have another one of those inserts in here. These are another goals insert from Crossbow Printables. I left this one not covered on purpose so you could see. You write down your goal, so mine is to lose down all the baby, to lose all the baby weight, your action steps, your strategy to achieve the goal, and then the date the goal was created and then when to achieve it by. I used these insert la inserts last year too, so I really like those. Um, these are just some mantras that I was like jotting down. This is the goals and rewards insert from Peanuts Planner Go. I, this is 2021 because I didn't want to lose sight of like my progress already. I've already lost a total of 12.4 pounds since I had the baby. Um, and so I have the goals and rewards on this side. Every single one of these squares is a pound. And um, so like, for example, I have a total of 47 pounds to lose. And every time I lose a pound, I put one of these transparent stickers on it. Um, any smaller goals, like lose eight pounds in a certain month with a reward, all that stuff. Um, I really love this insert on the back. I put my weight log. And so what I did was I kept this here to remind myself how far I've come. And then I created a new one for this year. So I still have 34 pounds to lose. And, um, here's my weight log. This is from a pullout from Peanuts Planner Co., um, I'm going to write down my monthly goals on here. I'll write down the goals and then write down a little bit of notes at the end of the month. And then I have the monthly plan from SM Plans. And I have several of those in here ready to go. Um, the next section is kind of like my wellness section. And this is all things to do with wellness and improving oneself. So um, I'm really making a effort to read more this year. So these are the book list inserts from, I have a post-it note here with where they're from. Um, gosh, I can't remember where I got this set from, but I'll link it down below. But I really love uh, these inserts. So these are like must read books, to read sometime books, books that I wanna read during this year. It came with a reading tracker. So I'm not writing down how many pages I am. I just want to track, like here are the months, here are the days. I wanna track days that I'm actually picking up a book and reading. So reading tracker and then book notes. So I'm reading a lot of self-help books and then books for work. Um, so I'm taking down notes on these inserts. These inserts are from Annie Plans Printables. So there, it comes with a lot of inserts like a whole stack of them 
The next section is my self-care section. I'm really loving these inserts. I got this idea from Kristen. Um, these are the self-care planner inserts from Analyta Design. I did not use every single insert in this package. I took out what I wanted to use. So this is the life balance wheel. So it says health, career, family, rest, social, home, love, growth, fun, and body. And what I did was this month, I took count of where I kind of saw myself in life um, and rated myself, so to speak. So that's kind of like how my wheel looks right now. The goal is to make sure that I feel even in every area. So I guess you could say this is very similar to the level 10 life that probably a lot of you have heard about. And as you can see right now, life seems to be super uneven. So I really want to improve um, like my own personal growth, health, body, um, home, those types of things. Um, and then at the end of like this quarter, I'll reassess um, this balance wheel, probably print another one and fill it out again or in six months or so. So I really, really think this is cute and pretty and I'm really focusing in on goals and wellness this year. And then just priorities in these different categories. Um, Self-care plan goals for the mind and soul, body and good habits. So I just wrote down some things that I really want to strive for in those areas. And then I created a bucket list for this year. Uh, as I said, you know, starting a new job, it's easy for things to get kind of out of hand and carried away, but I wanted to create things that, you know, I want to make sure that I achieve or do this year, like go camping with my family because Kai really wants to go camping this year. So I want to make that happen. Um, read 15 books. I really want to grow my Instagram. So like my bucket list of stuff. Um, I still want to write a future letter to myself, create a vision board. Um, this I won't be using but it was printed on the back of this. And then a self-care cal calendar. I don't know how I'm gonna use this yet, but it's there. Self-care ideas, routine tracker, and self-care checklist. What I plan on doing this is just using this for reference. Self-care routines, self-awareness happiness assessment. Um, so these are all inserts that I still have yet to fill out my positive thinking so the negative thought and positive thought to like how to change my thoughts so for example i feel overweight the positive thought this body of mine carried my boys and something that i've learned about myself is that while like a lot of women um lose weight like that when they breastfeed i have found and i noticed this with kai while i'm breastfeeding I like have a hard time losing weight. It typically starts to come off when I'm done breastfeeding. And I don't know if that's because I have an oversupply of food. So I'm like constantly starving. <laughs> it's like interesting, but I know this about myself. So rather than focusing on the negative thought of feeling overweight, I need to remember what has happened. I just had a baby and my baby's only nine months and I'm still able to feed him. And um, if I w hadn't started him on solids yet, like I would be still, I could, I'm still able to just feed him exclusively. Like that's how much supply I have at nine months still. So like positive, positive thoughts. Period tracker, affirmations, anxiety log, and then the mood tracker. So I chose a color for every single mood and I really love um, how this is gonna probably look at the end. Um, and the color seeing kind of what mood kind of carries the most. So yeah, so this is my wellness section. It's a big section, um, but I really love every insert in here. And then the next part I have clipped together because it's pretty personal. Um, so as I said, I've been doing tarot pulls and I write down what I pull and kind of some notes and thoughts about the card that I pulled. And these inserts are from Annie Plans Printables. The Last Divider from Calixta Creations. Annie Plans, not Annie Plans, oh my gosh, sorry. Uh, Bunny Plans Vellum. And this next section um, is still part of wellness. This is some note paper. I'm taking some notes on health. So like the importance of drinking water, people that inspire me. And this is just Tomoe River paper. 
um, importance of getting enough sleep, that type of stuff. So I need to move this reading log back to that other area where my book list is. This is from SM Plans. Movie log from Peanuts Planner Co. I just watched the movie Coda. I highly recommend if you're, if you're into like warm and fuzzy movies. I really love that. Um, planner routines. I'm still working on these. Once I have them solidified, I'll move them onto this insert that I got from Simple and Trendy Co. Funny Plans Vellum. Um, this is routines. Yearly, half yearly, quarterly, monthly, daily, and then every day of the week. Once I move into my new house, I'll be able to put like these routines in because I need to like figure out my house, figure out what areas I need to tidy each day and blah, blah, blah. And then my habit tracker, of course, from SM Plans. So this is January. Can't believe we're just about halfway through the month. And then I have the rest of the year in here. Um, this acetate is from Queen City Design Co., Queen City Design Co., and Bunny Plans. And then here I have my food journal. And let me just check who I got this from. I believe I got this from Hourglass Planner. And this is the food journal. What I really like about this is it gives you feelings and notes. I'm really trying to figure out how certain foods make me feel. Some things make me crash. Some things give me energy and I want to make notes of that. So we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Um, I don't really count my calories as of right now, but I will eventually. Um, if it was homemade or from a restaurant, like look at this, for example, and then right now I'm not doing total calories, but I'm writing down how many um, glasses of water I have. Like so. So I have oh, quite a few of those inserts. Fitness log from SM Plans, and I have several of those. Health log for myself from SM Plans. Oh, I need to take this out because I have a different period tracker. This beautiful um, balancing stone image is from Yana Yinton here on YouTube. Next is my gratitude section. Oh, sorry. So not this was not from Hourglass Planner. This from was from Minimalist Tea Studio. I'll link it down below. This insert from the Food Journal. This insert um, is just literally a calendar log like a perpetual calendar of each month. This is what I wanted to use for uh, gratitude because I found that when I was giving myself too much space to write, I would spend too much writing and then eventually I would fall off doing it. Versus here, I just write a one-liner and I've been able to stick with it. And this is from Hourglass Planner. So I have the rest of the here in here, all the way through to December. This Mom Boss Vellum is from Queen City Design Co. Funny plans. And then this next section is called home. So everything with my house, my kids, my dog, all that stuff. So this is for moving into our house, the game plan insert from SM Plans, a couple notes pages, cleaning insert. I just put this in here from Peanuts Planner Co. Reoccurring tasks for the year. Like I said, these are things that'll get filled out once I'm in my house task management. Um, so I'm writing down different rooms in our house and like things that I need to get done in those areas. Project planner from Crossbow Printables. I'm um, planning my party for Kai's birthday and my birthday. We're doing a joint party in our new house. So like kind of creating a to-do list of things to get done for that party. People I'm inviting and then more project planning inserts. Grocery list for reference from SM Plans. Favorite recipes. And then more notes inserts from SM Plans. I could probably take those out, but I know I'll end up needing more notes inserts in this section once we move in the house. Vehicle maintenance. Oh, so I sized this down. This is the lunch menu for Kai's school. And then this is Kai's section. So. I don't know how I'm gonna use this insert yet, like things that I need to get done for him, I guess. Health log for him. And then a doctor's visits insert for Kai. And then the same thing for Lachlan. Like for example, I wanna get him signed up at the My Little Gym, which is near our new house. So I have that written down as a to-do for him. 
his health log, and then the doctor visit insert for him. And then the next section is my finance section and my password. So it's pretty private, but I can show you. So like this is the finance section and how I'm using it is these are the actual fixed bills that I have this month. I'll write down the amount, check it off. Can you see that? Check it off once it's paid. Um, writing down um, any thing that we have coming in. So uh, paychecks, any like any money that we have coming in I'm writing up here a focus for the month I don't use this tracker and then here this is our variable expenses I'll like literally write down um things that we're spending money on just so I'm keeping track of things so I have several of those inserts then I have um the payment tracker oops sorry didn't mean to shake you payment tracker from SM plans that I'm using for like our credit card with the Nebraska Furniture Mart. We're very close to paying that off. So just keeping track of those payments. And then I just printed out this passwords insert. I need to move over my passwords onto here. And then that, guys, we finally made it, is the end. Oh, I put another piece of vellum because I have a page lifter and I like seeing something pretty on the other side. Um, these are from Queen City Design Co. These are my transparent stickers. I have thank you notes back here because I like to leave thank you notes um, every so often. They're really, they come like in handy big time. Card from a friend. This is the pen I'm using, um, the Staples Postscript Pen in 1.0. I absolutely love this pen. I'm obsessed. Um, this is from Kubo and Lucy. This, uh, what do you call this? Paper clip. Oh no, just broke. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Um, I can fix that easily. But yeah, so we finally made it to the end. I don't think, I think I have some papers back here, but yeah, not much. We finally made it to at the end. I think that was like the longest flip I've ever done. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a lot going on and I wanted to make sure you got a thorough flip. If you guys have any questions, I hope I mentioned every single shop. I probably didn't, but I'll do my best to link everyone down below. I really appreciate you guys. My hope is to do bi-weekly videos. I think that I can handle that. Um, it just will really depend once I start my job and just kind of seeing how that goes. But I'd love to do bi-monthly videos. If not, you guys can always catch up with me on Instagram. I'm pretty active on there. I just started doing reels and I'm kind of obsessed with doing them. They're really fun. So you can follow me on Instagram at the Miss Mrs. Mom. And if you guys have any questions, comment down below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!